number eight, it says, what is the domain and range of the following quadratic? So you'll notice that this quadratic is opening down. So um, that means our y values are getting smaller, which is your range. Your domain is your x values. And remember we've said that with a quadratic, um, your domain is always going to be all real numbers because these arrows imply that it just keeps going and it keeps getting further and further, um, keeps spreading. As it's going down, it's getting wider. So um, the domain is all real numbers. Now, you'll notice that the way the answers are written, this one says x. x is domain. So this is saying that the domain is between 0 and 8. So it's saying from here to here. Okay. Well, that's saying if these were didn't have arrows, then yes, that would be true. Okay. But these have arrows, so that means it keeps going. So x, <coughs> remember the domain. So here's the domain. Here's the domain. Here's the domain. Okay. So x is all real numbers. That that's true. Okay. We know that your domain is always all real numbers. This says that it's less than or equal to 5 and that y is all real numbers. That's not true. We know that x is going to be all real numbers. So now we've narrowed it down to b and d. So now you'll notice there's a comma and then you have your y values. So your y values are your range. Okay. So if you find the highest or lowest point on the graph, so here's the highest point way up here, and your graph is going down. It's underneath that um, underneath your vertex, so it's opening down. So therefore your y values start at 5 and then it's everything below that. So this is going to be everything that's less than or equal to 5. So this symbol is your less than or equal to symbol. So D is the correct answer.